Welcome to your Go Market Update Charts today. It's Monday the 24th of July. Max Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in the Asian session today as we approach the midpoint. Let's just have a look at the news. Of course, it was a mixed and choppy session on Friday in the US as investors look to the week ahead with some caution. Earnings are likely to dominate headlines again this week along with that Fed rate decision which is released on Wednesday. U.S. futures are slightly higher in Asian trading, trading towards the highs of the session at this stage. And Asian markets are generally higher with the exception of the Hang Seng. The ASX is trading around neutral. It's been in about a 0.2% range since open. European markets are pointed to a slightly lower open and the VIX remains historically low. U.S. dollar index closed at the highs of the week on Friday. It was slightly higher in Asia in early trading, but just appears to have pulled back a little bit. Gold has retraced to 1960. Copper has been trading between 380 and 390 over the last four trading days. And all was up slightly on Friday, closing just beneath the 200 AMA. It is slightly softer in Asian trading today. Bitcoin is holding 30,000 support. Uh, earnings continue. We've got PMI data coming out today. Australian manufacturing PMI was slightly better than expected. Though the service number was a bit weak. Likewise, with the Japanese PMI numbers, we've got PMI out of the UK, Eurozone and US later. And investors will be looking to see if we're getting this continued slowing of global economies. Obviously, that Fed rate decision will also be on investor minds over the next two days with the expectation they're going to raise by a quarter of 1%. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our right. I'm going to start by looking at the US yen on the daily chart. And you can see here we had a really strong week last week on the USD. That's reflected in this pair here. We're looking at 142 as a really important level. You can see back here in the middle of June, it was tested for a few days before we got this move up to 144. Similar on Friday, we got this move up to 142 and then paused slightly weaker in Asia today. And look as though we could sell off. If we look at an hourly chart, you can see this potential tip over that we've got here. So we're really keeping an eye on this 140, 135 level as a level of interest. If we breach that, we could see it drop off fairly significantly, perhaps even as much as 70 or 80 pips. On the ASX, we're liking the look of Webjet, looks as though it might take off, if you excuse the fairly poor pun. Uh, but you can see there that we had closing highs of around about 760. At the end of May, we're actually testing that level today at 765. We take this back to the weekly chart, and you can see we've got to go back to pre-pandemic to see it really above this level. A move over 765, we would suggest, has plenty of upside. Could see this even in the long term up to around about $10. Uh, but in the short term, looks as though there's some buying pressure, most certainly in, not only in this stock, but also in this sector as a whole. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.